good kitten internet. I am Aetherspoon. This is Isin Kini. Oh, no, you can stay there. You're cute. And this is Wild Arms 1. The last we left off, we just defeated one of the four hidden bosses of the game. No, Isun, you should stay there. Curl back up again. Yes. There we go. Oh. Oh, look at how cute he is. All right. And we're going to go progress plot. So where we last left off with the plot, we um, Jack asked us to go to Artesia. So that's where we're going. Sort of. Um, I'm going to stop by... Uh, run into a freaking mountain, apparently. I'm going to stop by an isolated guild first to heal up. Also, don't I have some cross crafts? Or did I use them? First, heal up. Second. Yes, I do. Well, I'm going to be teleporting to a town anyway. Um, I might as well teleport to Adelaide first, just in case. I mean, I have enough MP, I'm not as concerned anymore. Not to mention, I have 99 um, magic carrots. graphs there are in the game because um there's three spots left once i'm done with this leap confuse blind silence counter spell or dispel i should say i'll grab dispel first because that could theoretically be useful but probably not and then silence Okay, um, so now that I think about it, there actually is another secret boss that I can go after first, but I'm going to do a little bit of plot anyway. So we're going to Artica, or Artesia, or however you're supposed to actually say it. It's up here. I'm really curious as to how in the world Jack was supposed to get out of here on his own. So, oh, we're back at the start of the game. Yep, there's loot in here. Yep, that is not poison. Okay. Or revive. Or revive. Always a good sign. apparently fighting some ghouls. Those used to be zombies. They look like chickens. I really don't understand. Uh, what do ghouls have on them? Nothing. Nothing at all. and see what was over on this side. Okay, not going that way. Got it. So this castle looks a lot like Adelaide Castle, and it uses the same tile set, which is what I was just going through right now. That same room is in Adelaide Castle. I think they're supposed to be like sister cities or something. I can't remember. Nova. Nova. really drop that down to 1 MP. Also, I need to re-equip things. I forgot. I still have equipment from Angle Moa. We're going to have you go with Mind Gem. Also, my luck got changed again. Orb of Life is fine on Rudy. Set of Fish Badge, we're going Necronomicon. Necronomicon. 
Mega Berry. Connector. Mega Berry. This is what I mean by this is the same setup as Analog Castle. That is Cecilia's bedroom, in fact. Roar. Did they just run out of names or something? Oh, they have Mega Berries. Eh, I don't care that much anymore. I'm assuming they're probably weak against one of those two. So I'm gonna just high blast in case if they're still alive. And then Prism Ray, why not? I doubt they'll be able to fly. Yeah, not too much. Sixty Gela, six zero. You have secret sign and secret sign. Yep. Well, those are getting used now. I'd like that spell to drop to one. Time for ice skating. Remember in the opening, or in the last FMV that we saw, that there was an arm here? Welcome to Wild Bunch. Wild Bunch is a terrible arm to start. It's a 45% hit rate with 100 ATP. We're actually leaving and going back to Adelaide at this point. Because we need to improve some arms. Oh, my... This is showing. I guess I need to drop the camera down a little bit. My, oops, a little too far, uh, my green screen is not that, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, tall. So let's just hop back over Adelaide, as you do. We should have gobs of money right now. I'm gonna try to keep some money for, and you know what, I could always grind for money if I need it. Um... I have plenty of money. I'm just going to upgrade Phaser all of the way. Okay, that's that was fast. And then this thing. The problem is that its hit bonus is so terrible. It's one of the best attack power ones in the game, but you have to spend so much to upgrade it. It's now above, and I can no longer even afford to upgrade that. It's not worth touching the hit percentage. It really isn't. Um, Prism Ray's already upgraded all the way, right? No, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade Prism Ray a little bit more. That was fast. Prism Ray's the other one that I tend to use out of combat, or out of boss battles. I'm betting it maxes out at 15. Yep. Cool. So if I want to lock on, I could use Wild Bunch. There's a reason why I upgrade Phaser instead of Wild Bunch. It's just not worth it. Anyway, let's get a reload on some ammo. Okay, and I still have 20,000 left. Not that I have anything to do with said money, but you know, I still have it. Let's teleport back, or well, just fly back. No reason to teleport. Okay. 
getting back in. Great. Then up. Up from here. Oh, nope. Not up from there. We do actually have to go in through the courtyard. Okay. Yep. Okay. Did not realize. Nova. Then I can go over here to the duplicator room, and I think it's a secret sign. I don't. I don't remember what it is now. It might just be loot. It might even be more secret signs. Yes, it could be a secret sign, loot, or a secret sign. Good job, brain. More secret signs. Not complaining. Secret signs are very nice. That's now down to five spell points. There is no longer a reason for me to use Sonic Buster. There wasn't at seven either. And really, Sonic Buster is just not very good. All right, is there any other loot in here? No. Feel free to ignore the icy section. There is loot in here, though. Right there. Lucky card. Feel as though there's nothing in here and they're just trolling me. A wise man. A wise man once said nothing because they were wise. Headgear. What do I already have? Oh, I have the best head thing. Yeah, headgear is old. It's the third head item in the game. Come on. Nova. And in case if it's still alive, faint. Sure, why not? Oh, splat. Yeah, there's not really much of in the way of threats for these random encounters at this point. Normally you don't do this, or you don't constantly use it, but you normally don't also drop its spell point cost down to five. I went the correct direction, didn't I? That might be where I need to go after this. I don't know. Hmm. I'm at 13 minutes. Do 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 do. Herc dead. Actually, if I aim this right, I think I could skate. Yeah. That's faster. the famous tower piece that they love using, although this time it's figure eight style. Yep. <sighs> and was I going down or up? I was going this way, okay. This area should look awfully familiar. 
So yeah, basically all of the FMVs in Wild Arms were based off of the actual game, as in they were in-game run cutscenes, not FMVs. So we have a Hopidia and a Fluridy. Hopidia? Hopidia. Hopidia? Hopidia. Randomly drops the um, anti-poison item that I never bothered picking up, and the Fluridy drops an Aquarine. Don't care. Or, um, I can steal an Aquarine. Anything that's left alive, just Saint. And then Rudy can bunch. I mean, notice that I've basically not spent any MP on Jack. And he's just killing everything. This is why Jack is the most powerful character in Wild Arms 1. Cecilia is pretty dang powerful in her own right, but she can never get as efficient as Jack. Where I walk enough steps between random encounters to make up for the cost of the... So, that distance. I have not done anything else in between. And I've already maxed out my MP again. A nemesis. They have Mega Berries. Okay. I suppose Fang. And if you're still alive, go ahead and analyze and Rudy punch it in the face. Never mind. Uh, yeah. Let's see in time. It's the elevator. Yeah, Arctic Castle is freaking huge for some reason. It must have been like this huge grand empire and yeah, I've got nothing. There she is. Naturally, I'm going to avoid her temporarily and loot things. Boom getter! I already have one. Thing behind. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go afterward. Yeah, I'm just going to deal with him, Elmina, right now. Might as well fang. Dead. Yeah, Jack just kills every regular enemy in the game at this point in one hit. Rudy, Cecilia. I need to do this one alone. Oh, I should have... Do, 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 do. This image could totally be... That one. We'll do that. There we go. Okay. I need to do this alone. Okay. I apologize for making you wait. I really don't want to see you like this if I can help it. My blood-stained hands will never let me go. Same for me. Can't turn back. Elmina will laugh at me. <laughs> for Elmina, I shall use my sword against you. On guard! One way or another, you shall attain honor. Everything begins and ends here today. My art does not create or destroy. It's the essence of pure combat that I live by. Come, Jack. We shall taste each other's blood for the last time. Yep. That's right. One-on-one -on -one boss battle. Fast draw versus fast draw. Is that all you've got? It will never be enough. So if I remember right, this is the version of Harkin that is... If you're low enough level, could be so fast that Jack can't accelerate or be on her turn. But, um, yeah, this is not a fair fight. Azriel! Yeah, look at how little damage she does now. Look at how much damage Jack does. This is not even close to a fair fight. Also, it just dawned on me that I should 
switch to a boom gutter. Uh, do I have a red that's better for attack? No. So weird. Uh, yeah, I'm basically just going... Oh, can I steal from her? Arkin. 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 I think I might be able to. That's why I'm double-checking. Yes, I can. I'm gonna do that now while I can. Yep, we could just Magnum Fang each other constantly. But she's only doing 390 damage and I'm doing like 4,000. My Trickster does more damage than she does. This is ridiculous. I suppose I should probably actually heal. Just in case if she does have some trick up her sleeve. I don't think she does, though. Jack is basically completely broken in power at this point of the game. There's no reason not to just constantly use the same moves, because it doesn't cost any significant amount of MP. I'm not trying to kill her right now, so I'll trickster. Azrael! Herc. Pan Pan! You can do it! Arkin Tempest! That does even less damage because that's supposed to be an area of effect attack. I mean, this is a very dramatic moment, don't get me wrong, but they. This is not a difficult fight. This is not even close to a difficult fight. There we go, got the secret sign. Sorry to keep you waiting, Harkin. Yep, I am accelerating faster than her. And just to make sure, I can't equip that power unit, right? Thought it was Rudy only, and I was right. Um, I mean, I might as well just fang her the rest of the combat. It does way more damage than anything else, and it costs one. Okay. And down. You finally look like a knight. Dead. 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 Not unconscious. Elmina! What is that light? I still don't get it, do you? That is the light from your heart. The light of the absolute power. The power to go beyond yourself in order to protect those that we love. That is the light of your new courage. Please save your strength. Please don't talk. I've only stabbed you repeatedly with a whole bunch of pins and needles. <laughs> Many precious things have slipped through your fingers. You're now glowing with courage. <laughs> it's stronger than... Amina, open your eyes! Here are a few words for you from the dead. I don't care how boring or terrible things get. Protect this world. The world that provided for us to meet. I will not use my power for revenge. I will use my blade to... The lion idol explodes from the light. I am the guardian of courage. The death of the demon knight and the cry of the human warrior summoned me to Vilgaia once again. Call my name for the sake of courage and you shall rise above yourself. And Elmina's gone. And the courage rune is gained. Jack. I'm... I'm okay. Let me fight with you for the sake of Filgaia. 
You taught me that there are things in this world worth protecting. And thus ends the story of Almina, right? Nope. We actually have one more thing we can do about it. And I'll get there in a bit. But first... That courage. That courage. Oddly enough, the Courage Rune is not that dissimilar from the Life Rune in power. It drops vitality, but greatly increases speed. As in, drops vitality compared to the Life Rune. Canonically, it's supposed to be equipped on Jack, but I actually like the idea of equipping it on Rudy right now, just because it's strictly better than the Ice Rune. Whereas, Life Rune is not strictly better, and it gives Jack an area of effect heal. Let's continue on. Oh, um, I should probably heal up. Done. Oh, and... Let's recover some of that really tiny amount of MP that I spent. This is ridiculous, is what it is. That is full. Or, that is empty. And remember right in the beginning, there was a fence in the back here? Well, first off, there's a random encounter here. Because Artica Castle has, or RTC, or I really need to figure out how that's supposed to be pronounced. Um, I know that Sashanan is watching this and has played at least some of Wild Arms 1 Remake. Do they vocalize what this place is supposed to be called? I don't even know if they have vocals in the game. Oh yeah, and Jack was already full on MP. Oh, this is so ridiculous. Huh? Power is the Guardians are going berserk inside of the teardrop. They're trying to tell us something. It's happening. Years of darkness fell on the land. The damage to the ley line was temporary, but it was enough to greatly weaken the Guardian's powers. The tower, hidden deep within the ocean, was something to Siegfried. The technology that reached the skies? A thousand years ago, there were residential colonies in orbit around the planet. In those days, humans and Elu lived together. A giant mechanism, Kod Dingel, connects the land to the colony. That's right, it's a space elevator. Yep. Ah, Dingel. The power deemed too uncontrollable to use by the Guardians has been found by Siegfried. It was awakened through time and space to show its fate once again. And I'm not in control of the text, so it really was going that fast for some reason. I don't know why, it's the only time in the game that the text goes that fast. I don't have it on fast forward or anything. And there's Kade Gell. Remember when we saw that weird circular shape? That's what it is. Okay. We have a few things that we need to do now. Um, when can I get that item? Adelaide. Okay. Oh, and out of curiosity, are you still fine? What the heck? How is this still around? This is ridiculous.
One of the optional bosses is actually in the ruins of St. Centaur. Without there being ruins, we kinda can't do anything about it. I think. I don't know, it'd be hilarious if it actually still works. But, we need to go to Adelaide, and I need to spend a lot of money, which I probably don't have. So, Adelaide needs to be at maximum size in order to trigger this. And, yep. 100,000 gala. I have 26,000. Please think of the children. Oh, that's requiring some grinding again. Um... Let's not do that right now. Let's do some other things first. Where is it at? It is not really visible on the map where that place was, the Kadingel. Oh, I might as well heal. Also, I love the little, um... Whatchamacallit, um... Little bursts of water that are coming up from the... Well, wing. Oh, um, there's actually multiple things I could be doing. So first, let's heal. Of course I will try your potion. Hey look, it's delicious potion that fully heals. Uh, next, we need to go to Baskar, actually. We've needed to go to Baskar for all of, like, five minutes. And the game never tells you why, by the way. Except that it does. It actually told you way back when we were first in Baskar why we need to come back. Back when we got the idols. The Altar of the Wind at the outskirts of the village is where everyone prays to the West Wind to bring us our future. And that's where we're going. Is Zephyr really going to answer our plea? We need hope in order to survive this dying world. So basically, you can come back here constantly throughout the game, come up to the top of the temple, and not get an answer for anything. Until you have both Raftina and Justine. Radiate a dazzling light. Even our light doesn't reach him. If we give up now, we'll have no future. Rudy! What do you think you're doing? Are you trying to open the path to the future with the light from your heart? You're an artificial being. An artificial heart cannot bring a bright future. You cannot call the future wind. Why do you still seek the future of Vilgaia? How can you do that? We're all alone in this world. You're a stranger who does not belong anywhere. How can you try to open the future to this world? Can you believe in dreams? You never gave up, Rudy. As long as you have that spirit, you'll always be right for this world because of you, Rudy, that we are able to believe in the future. Please don't think that you don't belong to this world. We need you in this world. So, something I want to note. Um, this is a really neat reference that I did not get the first time I played, but I understood it the second and third times that I played through. Remember that um, Justine was awoken by Jack, and Raftina was awoken by Cecilia. Um... Jack is basically arguing against his own rune, the rune of courage, Justine, even though it's technically equipped on Rudy right now, but whatever. And Cecilia is the one that's arguing against Raftina, which is really interesting in my mind, because they're the two that represent those ideals, those guardians. It's basically the humans going, yeah, no, no, Rudy is totally the best one for this one. What are you talking about? Rudy's freaking awesome. Also, you can actually see his eyes, I just noticed. It's like, um, 
there, and there. I don't know. Hmm, excuse me. I don't know if YouTube is working up the encoding process or not, but I can see them. Yeah, you're right. The light from the artificial heart is reaching the future? No way! But wait. This brightness really is the light of hope. The dragon idol shatters into pieces. I am the guardian of hope. The light from the heart that people have lost. Rudy, your heart is not of nature, yet its light woke me. You believe in the future? Then use my powers to fight in the name of hope. So the mythos according to Wild Arms 1, and only one, is that Zephyr isn't just like the guardian of the West Wind, the guardian of hope. Zephyr is actually in the future. And... There's a reasonable chance that there's multiple Zephyrs in Wild Arms 2 and 3 as a result. Um, I'll just leave it at that. So, Rudy now has the Hope Rune. Hope Rune increases vitality and sorcery, which is completely useless. And decreases speed. The Hope Rune is the crappiest of the runes in my mind. But it is strictly better for Jack. So, I tend to like the idea of Jack having the Hope Rune and Rudy having the Courage Rune, just because they're actually better for their respective characters. That and Jack doesn't have a sorcery that's utterly worthless. True that the West Wind, Zephyr, brings hope to our dying world. I feel as though I can believe in the future again. Alright, so we've got that taken care of. Um, we are down to two guardians remaining. One of which is inside of St. Centaur, which we can't get at right now. And the other one is something that we need 100,000 gold pieces for. Or Gela. Alright. Back to Kadengel. We're actually not going to enter Kadengel. You'll, you'll see what I mean once I find where the heck it is. Isn't it north of Arctica? Oh, that's the Desert of Doom. That's Pandemonium. There's the Tri-Pillar. This is the Inner Sea. Kadengel is definitely Outer Sea. by Baskar. Their Adelaide. Centaur area. Arctica area. These are the islands of doom. Speaking of, I should probably do to get some money. Let me save state before I do anything, because this time I'm going to be smarter about this. be this island specifically. I thought it was any of them, but I thought it could have been any, but I don't know. I know this island does it. This is the island that we got it last time. Not Garums. Wait, we found Garums at, um, whatchamacallit, um, is it Heaven Corridor? I think it was Heaven Corridor that we were at with them. Mandragora? Mandragora. Are they special in any way that I care about? Mandragora? No. Not at all. I'm in the correct spot, but they're not really special. Is 
just dawned on me that I could be actually fighting them. Also, let's um, let's equip the pouch on Jack. Are you the aliens? No. Come on, I just want one encounter so I can get some money. Give me money! <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I should be way better at fighting these folk than I was before. Where are you, Status Lock? I really should just rename it to be Status Lock. I keep calling it that after all. Dunham made that Rudy's now faster than Cecilia. That's a problem. That's also a problem. Good job attacking the camera, Cecilia. Welp. That worked well. Uh, where is it at? Full Libra. And Full Libra. Be nice if I had three of them, but that's okay. Let's heal blade Cecilia, because then Cecilia will be able to act again. And honestly, Rudy could just stay like that. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. That's right. Uh, I'm still divide jotting. Cecilia, why don't you use our lucky card? Okay, it's down to 78, 80 hit points. Yep, don't care. Immune. taking a decent amount of damage. That's unfortunate. Heal Blade. We'll go with Cecilia on this. Oh, actually. Rather than having the Orb of Light equipped, I want you to have the pouch equipped so I have a chance of tripling my money. Um, Heal Blade Cecilia. Cecilia. Just obliterate them, please. Oh, Rudy can attack. Sweet. I'll show you what Wild Bunch looks like. So this is Wild Bunch. I really don't understand how that's supposed to be an arm attack, but whatever. Oh, not dead yet. That's okay, Rudy will probably go with confusion again. Nope. I can use the one Gela coin in combat to double money. Nope. It has to be heads to double money, if I remember right. Still don't have my force force ability, which I get later. Uh, divide shot. 
You know what? You can use the coin. And so can Rudy. Still has over 10,000 hit points. Tails. Still tails. Wonder if it stays tails. Also, I need to rearrange the order now that Rudy's faster than Cecilia. points you got left. 9,002. Okay, you're not going to die from Wild Bunch, that's for sure. It's staying tails. I have a hunch that it's just... You can only use it once per combat. But I gained 60,000 Gela. What am I doing in time? I'm actually going to continue this rather than going to Cabin Golf. So I have a reason, and I don't want to spoil the reason. But all I'm going to say is I'm continuing what I've been doing. I want to make sure I can do this, and I'd prefer to do it this video. There we go. And it's a preemptive strike too, which is very helpful. All right, divide shot. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any more lucky cards and for some reason I can't get into the encounter with the one enemy in the game that drops them. One Gela coin. I don't even care about status locking. It's only gonna affect Rudy. Although, might as well. Where are you? Fox Day. Miss? Ah, it's Tails again. My house back to back. You know what? When in doubt, randomizer. Randomizer is the answer to everything. I counter up. I've ever seen that one. Oh, I'm just gonna start counterattacking everything now. I'm gonna mute my microphone while my housemate comes in. the only one who could get affected. If he didn't, it's fine. <laughs> Start working on the other one. Rudy, face with that guy. Cecilia, keep up randomizer. It's your highest damage spell right now. I don't remember what the number was now, but yeah, I was about to say it was not 999. Nice needle. 2900 damage, not too bad. This whole constant counterattack thing is weird. Uh, Zai Yu again. 
Oh yeah, we should actually show off the Guardians. Let's do that. Zephyr. Kind of reminds me of Ultima Weapon from the uh, from Final Fantasy VII. I don't remember what the high guardian ones look like, but we're going to analyze that in the let's analyze. That was 5,000 damage. That was pretty good, actually. Justine normally does a huge amount of damage, but it's on Rudy, so it might not do so great. Yeah. High Saint. Nice. Bye bye. And 60,000 Gela again, so the pouch actually worked. So, now let's head back. To Adelaide. I think I have enough time to do this. I hope so, at least. Um, right. Donate money. We need more money for the latest construction effort. Please, will you donate 100,000 Gela? Sure. Can't possibly restore our town without the help of generous people, such as yourself. Yeah, it's fine. Leave town and re-enter town. I believe this is basically the last thing that we have to spend money on beyond Battle Arena. So, yeah. And I believe it's the pub. How much depth to magic? Or normal fighting and healing spells, and then there are the more complex versions. I don't need this item, Despolato, anymore. I'm a retired dream chaser. I'm gonna go stay in this town and grow my roots. You'll have a better use for it. With this item, you can neutralize most dimensional magic. And that's what we needed. Okay. To make things short, I'm going to quickly look up how to use... Okay. There's a specific pattern that you have to go in. You can actually find the pattern, but it's annoying. Um, actually, let's go ahead and heal first. As usual, healing in the Isolated Guild. Where else do you heal in this game, right? What is it with me and not sleeping in RPGs? I don't know. I just noticed that this is still... I'm pretty sure I've talked about that before of... Uh, the, when I first started doing this, that I stopped sleeping at this point. Um, actually, it's going to be faster for me to teleport. We are going to teleport to Baskar. So way back when we were first in Baskar, we saw this. And this is actually what we need the Despolato for. Oh, temper. Excuse me, temporarily I'm going to throw the Despolato up at the front of my inventory. And so you can talk to people at a particular point in the game to get this information. I'm not going to do that right now just because I'm not going to have the time. So it's northwest. You can also figure it out once you have the Despolato. Uh, so it's, yeah. Um, northwest, southwest, southeast, northeast. Really again. I don't care about your random battles at this point of the game. It's a harpy. Die. I hit you for over 10 times your maximum hit points die. Anyway, Despolato. There we go. Despolato. Despolato. Then it goes west, south, east, north. West. South. 
east. North. The hidden gates of the Temple of Illusion are now open. Illusion Temple. There's not much here, for reference. But, what's here is very important. I am Dan Dariam, guardian of time-space. There is one wandering soul which does, which is not man nor demon, and does not belong to any dimension. No, it can't be. Yes, the one you love. Elmina? With her demon body gone, her soul has found humanity again. In other words, she's not completely dead. She's still alive. I may be able to call the soul and give it life. Give life to it, using the Guardian of Life. So I lose the Guardian of Life at this point of the game? Crap, I should have made a copy of it. I forgot that I can grab... Uh, I can just save state edit. Or save game edit. For my um, comparison of all guardians. Because you can't... And this was the one that you lose a guardian of life for. Wait. It's possible. Can you turn back the clock on her heart? I want to make her forget that she became a demon and destroyed so many lives. That's possible, but... Then she will forget your existence as well. You know how painful that will be for you. I know, I think. But I don't want to carry that her to carry the cross in her heart anymore. I'm prepared. Then it shall be done. Ilgaia will have a new Elmina back. Your destiny is clear. The pull of love will always be there. So Dandarium, or Dandarium, or however you're supposed to actually say that, is actually one of the High Guardian runes in Wild Arms 2. So the High Guardian runes are runes like um, Justine, Reftina, Zephyr. Dandarium is the fourth one. Um, and in Wild Arms 3, I want to say that there's five or six? Anyway, um, or no, it's four, it's just that the fourth one's different. So, Chrono Rune is a really interesting rune. Because, oh, I do keep the life rune. Good. Because it still increases sorcery above the love rune. It is the best rune in the game for sorcery, which means, technically, it should be the best rune in the game for Cecilia. Notice that it gives 580 sorcery. Um, in reality... It's probably not worth it. I mean, look at the drop in vitality and speed by comparison. Anyway, I wanted to get through this sequence. Because we're wrapping up Lady Harkin's story. There's one more thing we need to do. And that's to go say hi to Elmina. remember if it's Timney or Moma. I think it's Moma. you and me, the pub owner's hobby is to keep himself busy. Uh, I hate the people here, but... No, it can't be! What, is there something on my face? Hey, I bet it looked like an old girlfriend, right? You want to seduce me? You're gonna have to try better than that. Hey, you okay? What did I say? 
never just ignore me sounds like you got the problems do i have anything to do with it you know i have amnesia i can't remember anything really a pain not to be able to remember your name these guys gave me one but it just doesn't feel right what's your name i'm jack van brace i wish i could remember my name see this ribbon do you take it why are you giving this to me? I can't take this. It looks like it's full of memories. You don't give something like this to a stranger. There you go. Preaching as usual. Say something? No, nothing. I'm sorry to bother you. Jack! I'm going back, aren't you, Jack Van Brace? Probably. Someday. So, yep. That's Elmina. She appeared out of nowhere. Turned out good for us, because she was able to handle the workload very well. I think she has amnesia. She's tough, though. Wish she could stay a little longer. She's cut our workload in half. Nice. Anyway, thus ends the tale of Lady Harkin, the human demon. Hope you've enjoyed this, Internet. I'm going to save. And next time, we're going to tackle a lot more optional content. It's probably going to be non-stop boss battles. Why did I walk out? I I was trying to be all dramatic and save while we're talking, and I just brain farted. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.